Good evening, friends. It's so good to be with you today on this Sunday, the Lord's Day. Today is a day the Lord has made. Let us give thanks and praise. I've been thanking a lot as I continue to read the news as you do and watch briefings on, on the television about what is going on in every part of our world considering the COVID virus. But it also reminded me of some words that our Lord spoke as he entered Jerusalem uh, for the very last time during Holy Week, during a week of Passover. You may remember that uh, he went to the temple once he arrived there. And when he saw what was going on, he started turning over tables. It was a righteous anger that he was feeling, this righteous uh, place inside him that had to correct a situation that was not becoming of the Lord. You see, there were people called money changers and seers, those people who sat and collected money from people coming to the temple uh, to offer their sacrifice for their sins. And it seems that Jesus noticed the dishonesty going on, that there were people that were heightening the uh, cost for these live animals to be sacrificed. Just think about it like this, about how many people have you seen, um, especially on the internet, that when you go to order hand sanitizer, the price is about quadrupled what it usually is. Well, that's what Jesus was seeing um, in, in this situation. Mostly these poor people were entering into this place of worship, um, trying to uh, seek God's forgiveness and extend his mercy to them. And so often they were either turned away or had to really try to find the funds uh, to pay those prices that were just so far beyond their reach. And you might remember also that after he turned those tables over, um, these are the words he spoke. And these words are actually from the great prophet Isaiah. Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer a, a house of prayer for all nations. Praying for people that we know can be difficult in of itself. But praying for people that we don't know, people that not only uh, don't live near us, but live outside of our own country, it can be very difficult even to remember to pray those prayers. And so today, as I reflect on those words of Jesus, um, I want us to think about what country, what nation, uh, what peoples, what group that we can be praying for right now and should be praying for right now. Choose a particular nation or country um, and along with, of course, praying for protection from this COVID virus, you know, we have to remember that there are a lot of other difficulties that they face day in and day out. Some are suffering from famine. Nigeria, Somalia, South Sudan, and Yemen. Others struggle from not having clean water. The Congo, Pakistan, Mexico, Uganda, and Ethiopia. Then there are the poorest of all countries, and among those are the Sierra Leone, Mozambique, and Liberia. And then of course, uh, I think it's so important to pray for those countries who make it almost impossible to live a Christian life. They can be persecuted, they can be put to death um, for trying to lead a life following Jesus. North Korea, Afghanistan, the Sudan, Syria, Iraq, and Iran. Nations of all shapes and sizes all colors and creed, um, they suffer each day from a mountain of um, difficulty and tragedy that again, that they um, know day to day, every day of their lives. So how can we help when we're so far away? Of course, there are so many ways that we can and should be supporting people of other nations uh, with real dollars. And there are also times that we can visit as a missionary and we can bring with us tangible signs of God's love and grace. But we can also and should also be in prayer for these people to lift them up to God as our brothers and, and sisters for they are children of God just as we are. 
So now I'm going to lead us through a time of prayer, and I'm going to invite you to be prepared to respond, uh, hear our prayer when you hear me say, Lord, in your mercy. So if you will bow your head now and uh, join me in this, this prayer that we can pray for all the nations. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for the hungry, the poor, the neglected all over the world, that their cries for daily bread may inspire works of compassion and mercy among those to whom much has been given. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for schools and centers of learning throughout the world, for those who lack access to basic education, and for the light of knowledge to blossom and shine in the lives of all God's people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the health of women, children, and families around the world, especially for an end to maternal and child mortality, that in building healthy families, all God's people may be empowered to strengthen their communities and repair the breaches which divide nations and peoples. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for an end to pandemic disease throughout the world, that all uh, will live lives of meaning and purpose from the youngest to the oldest. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh God, we pray for an end to the waste and desecration of God's creation, for access to the fruits of creation to be shared equally among all people, and for communities and nations to find sustenance in healthy food and clean water. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all nations and people who already enjoy the abundance of creation and the blessings of prosperity, that their hearts may be lifted up to the needs of the poor and afflicted, and partnerships between rich and poor for the reconciliation of the world may flourish and grow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining with me and praying with me. I hope that you will continue this practice, not just for tonight, not just for tomorrow, but keeping all people, all of God's people, in your prayer every single day. Thank you for spending this time with me, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. God bless.